this yeah man dude this I'm show <laughs> yeah, i'll say real quick um yeah with studios by and it's the writer of re-zero so a lot of big names behind it but we'll see how it lives up and also uh, two episodes aired so we we're talking about both episodes that aired uh so I had no idea this was actually the creator of ReZero. It makes more sense because it's about time, to... <laughs> more time stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. I don't know. For me, like I, I think I think it has good potential. I think you know, Stratton, as as we kind of discussed the other day, was that I'm really glad that we got two episodes. Um, because as we talk kind of further about you know what conspired in those two episodes, um, I think it really did a good job of being able to draw in you know new viewers who are interested in in starting this show for this season. Um, for me. I'm getting some like heavy like I robot meets like Westworld type or Terminator <laughs> vibes. Even yeah, Terminator. That's a, that's a good way to put it. Um, so I, I'm definitely in from these first two episodes. It has me sold. Um, I think it's just you know with other series like I Robot and you know um, Westworld that kind of do this similar concept of. AI is becoming popularized in, in you know futuristic setting, and then the AI, AIs kind of become more self sentient apart from their original mission and start to you know work against their creators. I'm really hoping that it does something different here because I almost feel like I, I know where it's gonna go. It seems oh, like <laughs> like it has like so many like yeah like other, especially it's like AI focus. It seems it has like a lot of the AI things you're so familiar with, like like we said like 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 Terminator, I Robot. I didn't watch Westworld, but like. Um, I was gonna say, there's like some, there's some other anime I was making comparisons to now. Now I forgot, but uh, well, well, for this yeah. one, I feel like I feel like um, they they did a really good job just explaining everything that's going on. They gave us like a really good idea of the synopsis as well. Like there was none of the the, the guessing work that was in between. She had like you know how like where is this gonna go? What's the point of all this? They kind of laid everything out really well at the beginning of this. Um, and I saw somewhere, I think I, I think um, earlier Taylor mentioned that. Uh, that they they they've been working on this since like 2017. Uh, I don't know if it was like the story or like it's oh, been wow. years. Yeah, I like so that. basically, yeah. It's, so it's been a while. Um, so Taylor, Taylor, if you can confirm in chat. Um, but I, th- I thought she said 2017. Um, okay. Which I guess would also because it is it's still like anime original, right? This is like a this isn't based off like any light mm-hmm. novel, manga, nothing no, like it's that. A, it's all it's all original. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So and it's like, of course, you get Wit Studio as well, which immediately you notice like the like the animation shots when the, she was running on the buildings, and also the music was top notch as well. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. It's it sounds like such. It sounds like, like the concept sounds like something like mentioned like Justin how you mentioned before. Like we've heard it so much before, but just like how they kind of showed it, like it just looks like it has very high, like very good potential. Like just after watching the first two episodes, like damn, I'm in. But I'm so, also very glad they had two because the first episode, I'm just like meh. But yeah, I, with I the second say, episode, I was like yes. I was just gonna say that like I'm first in. episode, like I just it felt like very meh. Like I didn't really, see, yeah. I wasn't really interested. And then even the second episode, like it got more interesting, but it wasn't until the end where, like, where they where it got serious. So, because well, the... like, I'll say like. Again, like they're not taking like a more realistic approach to AI or anything. It's more like the like what what writers think AI is. So, so there's yeah. some there's some nitpicks I have about, about the, like some of the aspects, but I'm not gonna let I'm not dwelling on it too much. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is that they actually gave us the, you know they, they let us know about basically like you know, their um version of AI is where they are only programmed to do one thing and they're supposed to do it very well. I mean that, well. that's a real thing in AI um, um right yeah. now um. Right now, AI is like we can only they can do one thing. The big what everyone's trying to do is try to make a general AI. That's why the main characters are really important because she's the first one that can do more than one thing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. what yeah. what um what I was gonna mention also mention too like the worst synopsis I've actually seen was on my favorite site, my enemy list, where it basically just makes it sound like it's like some some AI chick that just sings. Because I remember when um. Uh, because when Taylor's like, man, the synopsis just sounds terrible for this. I was like, just give it a shot. I feel like you would actually like this show. And it, it feels because if if you were to just watch like the first episode, you would think like it was just like some AI uh, idol that just goes like on a like almost like on a killing spree in a sense, but it's not actually killing people. <laughs> but it, it it just sound like it just made it sound like it just made it sound really weird. But then with that second episode, you can make it. It seems like. That the whole thing with singing is not going to be a main point at all for this. It's it's mainly probably where she's going to mention it multiple times, but I don't think we're going to be getting anything where 
we're gonna have to have to see her like get into her singing career or anything like that so which Definitely. i hope not um <laughs> so. i think for me so i was uh messaging ulysses in the chat about kijitsu um but for me i think the part that really has me interested is uh matsumoto the ai or teddy bear from the future because you know he's obviously come from this initiative protocol that we saw you know the doctor um implanting into uh vivi as everything was kind of going down in the future a hundred years from now where the ais had kind of gone rogue and started killing humans Mm -hmm. um so i don't think you know we can really trust him at all i don't even know and i don't even know if what he's you know initially stating as why he came back is the truth and so you know with it in mind that this is the writer of re-zero I think there's obviously going to be hopefully twists. some um, some twists and turns. And so Matsumoto right now is is my number one kind of focus of this guy can't be fucking trusted. Like, right. <laughs> he's acting way too omnipotent of being, you know, this being from the future. And, you know, even Vivi kind of realizes that when she tries to, like, remove him as a virus and, you know, the virus scanners aren't finding anything and, and all yeah. these other things. And especially as David mentioned, you know, at the end of that second episode where we see that... Um, Vivi is trying to save the girl um, from episode one that uh, would visit her at the theme park and actually gave her the nickname Vivi. Uh, And we see the bear taking over like a construction machine to basically destroy Vivi to prevent her from saving the airplane that the girl was on that gets blown up. So um, he right there is really showing like, hey, no, you're playing by my rules. Like, I know you might have these other thoughts and ideas, but, you know, we got we got what he deems to be bigger fish to fry yeah and so i think we're going to continue to see that clash of ideologies yeah. as vivi kind of yeah, grows. I, I, I didn't even think about that until you brought it up yeah that's a really good point because it's now it's, just, it's thinking like you know like who's who to say that matsumoto like his like uh decisions what, what do you think is important who's to say that's the right one or why does he get to make that that yeah. choice and who's even say like what he shows vivi as like future articles of what happens in the future yeah. vivi can't know if that's real or not he could completely right. be fabricating everything wow. for some i wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking about that maybe i'm just too so, trusting well, <laughs> well, yeah. the thing is how, like even how she mentioned too about how you know like why are you just like you know uh like like uh what the hell was the term she used like giving me drips like you know basically like a whatever that whatever that, whatever that term is like she's mm-hmm. he's only telling her like bits and pieces but not like the full picture and then um even like that that like when um when he, when he uh, took over, like when it showed, like he took over that giant machine, I actually got confused because I wasn't quite sure, like like what that actually was. But then I went to Reddit and they basically said, like uh, it's, it's it's basically like her, like it's it's like um, it's, it's, a tower? it's like showing, uh, no, it was just like that quick clip, you know, basically with the whole thing with the 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 uh, airplane. Where he takes it, over the oh, takes over the, oh, yeah. just the construction. Yeah, but, but but so did you guys see that? Think that I was like because what Reddit was saying that like they took it as like it was basically in like uh where he showed her like a bunch of like the stuff that was like in the future, but then it was also like but then like the whole that whole concept was basically about how she's trying to change the rules, how she sees the outcome, but like yep. during that time she's trying to calculate and change something, and then but then it's yep. like almost like showing us like action scenes of like what's actually what's happening in their minds, or whatever that kind of road thing is because it, everything happens so quick yeah uh... I, I took it more so as like we get the idea that you know matsumoto is showing vivi you know what needs to occur in the future and kind of as you just mentioned strand like as a i guess byproduct of that vivi is learning you know other things that happen that maybe aren't related to the main directive and so she picks mm-hmm. up on the accident that happens with this plane and you know as we see at the end of the episode we see that the girl that Vivi has this attachment to is one of the confirmed dead. Mm -hmm. And so I took it more as a Vivi is trying to save the things that she deems dear to her, which all we knew at this time was, you know, this girl that would visit her at the theme park. And now it does kind of paint that clear picture of Matsumoto's like not playing any games at all. Like he's, he's keeping Vivi on a very tight leash. Right. You know, and, and, and at whatever cost, you know, obviously he, he like ripped her entire arm off with that excavating construction yeah. monster. So, um, but this is all visual stuff though, right? Like this isn't stuff that's actually happening. No. Oh, so that's okay. So I thought it was, I thought it was actually happening. No, no. Okay. But yeah. what, 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 what do you mean? Not, not happen, actually happening. Like the plane did explode and she did die. Is that okay? No, or? I mean, no, I just meant like, were those things actually playing like in real time? Because everything just changed that point so quick 
that I thought I like there was, for, I mean there was a I took it as like there was a time skip between yeah. oh, you know okay. when they saved too. that one uh senator or whatever to this is some time in the future that you know they're kind of continuing on their mission yeah. but Vivi obviously decides ah, okay. to, to do something else yeah. and he's like, I think it's like nah. I think that's where you're confused right it was a time yeah. it was really it was yeah, really well, uh, abrupt but, but it was but yeah it was well, abrupt Reddit, it was definitely abrupt yeah because Reddit there's a couple threads on Reddit that was they were talking about how like this was all stuff that was kind of going like in her mind when showed all that information um mm-hmm. about how it was just like you know it was like a mental kind of like fight back and forth but i i, I had no clue yeah, I but i mean that, that's an interesting idea that you do bring up not that that so is I, what I don't happened. know but I nobody knows something <laughs> of like you know we don't know enough yet of like maybe there are like quote unquote like tests that yeah. you know we as a viewer think is happening and then maybe it's just like you know a I simulation you I guess, would have yeah. to yeah. Okay, reread that thread again sure i think you're overcomplicating it i think it's just like <laughs> A time skip and then like yeah it's just what we saw is like yeah she tried she, it's like what, what we saw is like she wanted to save the, the girl and she couldn't so yeah well that's what i yeah. first took it as but then i went to reddit and then there was people that were saying other uh, things so trust, trust, trust I, I took it and then, and then, I, then I, I went much into it <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. But, but i think okay. uh i think if anything it adds more credence of that just being a time skip because i think like right before that when he was kind of telling her like you know how they're able to see the future he was he kind of clarified that you know with this power like we can't change like anything else like we need to stay to this like very strict but, uh, well, like schedule of what matsumoto has planned to like quote unquote save humanity right. from these ais but right but that's what that, but that's how i thought like maybe like not even finding out it's like it's a ReZero creator. Like I thought, like Dave, I was like it could have that could easily make it sense like that too. Yeah. Or it's like uh, I don't know. I just I kind of I, I thought of it as like like a fairly interesting take where where the whole thing is like if he if he revealed everything to her and then like it was like in her mind or like basically where they're able to see like the the timeline, but then it was just kind of like a men- <clears throat> almost like a mental fight of just like her trying to change yeah. like um, I mean it, like it could the plan for well not be. crashing. You know, like, I, I don't know. Though. I'm I gonna wait till next episode before zero. I comment. Yeah, I probably should just wait. I probably should just wait at this point. You're like you're confusing me, sir. So I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, man. I, I'm don't sorry. worry, friend. I I know what you're saying, and, and with the reason, <laughs> Arthur, I could see like some big twist of like everything could be just some simulation from what we're seeing. Like we don't know what reality is yeah. in this world yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, can't trust can't trust that bear. I think he's he's enemy number one, and I think as ReZero shows us, none of the main characters ever really have a a fun time. So I think we're in store yeah. for Vivi to really be put through the ringer. Well, what sucks though too, is this, this show is only showing up as 13 episodes. So I hope there's more. We'll see. Um, cause I feel like 13, just kind of like how things I'm, are going. It I'm, sounds too short. I'm more worried that like, cause, um, cause I know like, uh, the great pretender, like what's previous show, like people are saying the ending wasn't really that good. So, Oh God. Oh God. So I'm okay, worried. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm really worried about this. So we'll see. We'll see if like having the Rezo rider on makes a difference. But then again, yep. like his last show didn't really do much. So okay, I'll just I'll just stop yeah. everything, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, man. We just need more. It's off to a good start. Yeah, I'm excited. More. Yeah. yeah, this is like so far like one of my one of the ones I'm most intrigued by for yeah. this season. One of my tops for the season. Yep. Although, like, yeah, just like, just for me, it's, it's just early. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's only for me just because like because because I because I know about a little bit AI and machine learning, so I'll just. Just nitpicking a lot of things, a lot of the technical stuff, like like the huge, <laughs> the huge, the huge tower they have. To, I have no idea why that tower is there. Why you need a tower to send instructions to AI? Because it's all, in the, it's mostly all in the cloud. <laughs> you know, you need data centers, not this huge fucking tower. That like, if that what? tower goes down, you basically like, you basically like get rid of the, all the information that the <laughs> AI needs. That's why you, that's why you spread out all these data centers throughout the world. And it's like all these things suffer for. They always have this, you know. Like the the Achilles heel, if you will, of like Skynet has, you know, like the one like location. <laughs> it's like, why does this why is there only one location in the first place? Like to your point, you know, we know in terms of modern world kind of things, but like, then that would never it's be the, the same case. show that, that that says like, oh, a, a role, a AI can also time travel. So I, I can't. That's like, I can't that, well, argue. That, I can't claims. argue. He I claims. can't argue the logic when like the show does that. <laughs> but uh, just yeah, the, quick question. Just the, the huge radio tower just really bothers me. So like, you, Did, don't do that. Did they ever mention the year that this takes place? They didn't know. Hundred years. I. No, that, that's that's the future timeline. But like, I don't know what the one. That yeah, we just know in. the distance between when the war. Okay. Between, I think yeah. maybe if you go back in that like code initiative, it may oh, be in that, that little thing in the corner. Yeah, that's like okay. counting the time yeah. to when Vivi, you know, gets like taken Good over call. that message. Yeah. So. Good call. I'll yeah. check that out then. But yeah, maybe David will be different in the future. Then maybe they they can see it. 
Maybe maybe we'll need those giant tower trees. No, <laughs> guys, you guys don't get it. This is basically Dragon Ball Z like timelines, right? Where <laughs> whatever Damn. they do, it's going to like split the the future into like a different universe, right? So yeah. They're He's telling me Vivi, Vivi is the trunks of this series. No, no, no. Matsumoto is the trunks of the series. Ah, uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right. Guys, guys, when we oh. start... Go, go ahead, Justin. Uh, last point, and this is a really stupid point, so apologies, <laughs> but when uh, Matsumoto first showed up in Vivi's, like, um, music room that's in, like, the, the internet hub, did anybody uh, else feel like he looked like Wheat- Wheatley from Portal? A little black. You guys, you guys little yeah. Portal, Portal 2, the little, you yeah. know, Circle Sphere. It's just been like, a while. Oh, Okay. Well, it's been a while. I, mean, I, I first I, thought of the little I, ball from Destiny. Yeah, I thought I mean, the little ball from Destiny was yeah. more recent, but oh, Portal makes more that's sense a good one too. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Portal's a good one. Yeah, yeah. but so, anyways, but, stupid. Yeah, I, I, again, yeah. I, I'll say again, like, like her, uh, her, her AI thing was like it's they call it a database, but it's the, it's a cloud. She's in the cloud. Yeah, and the, the the archive as they call it. It's it's, it's, it's a cloud. It's not a database. But it's, again, I can't. I can't. It's how pick. we know it, David. <laughs> it's how we know the cloud. Probably, probably, Maybe on the terms change. In, probably on my Amazon <laughs> in that future as well, but, but. Yeah, they are they are Skynet. So anyway, I'm done. But that's yeah. Even though, even though, though far that, away even longer though, than I expected. Even though I nitpicked, I still I'm still yeah, still looking forward to it. So we'll see.